Hello and welcome to the 94th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at collapsible groups. We'll be using the source code from part 6 of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. You can easily create groups that aren't all visible by default and collapse when the number is open. The code is pretty simple, there's quite a bit of code, but we're just going to go over that and show you how easy it is to implement. So let's go ahead and open up our project. And we're going to do just before the row and the column, we're going to add our group. You can add it within the row and the column. We actually recommend that you do that as an extra task. Put it within columns that are different sizes and see how it reacts when you resize the bread there. So we're going to do a div. It's going to have a class of panel group. This is all built into Bootstrap, so we don't need to do any CSS, which is great. We're going to have an ID of accordion. And what we're going to do is have a role. Its role is going to be tab list. It's going to have an area dash multi selectable. Mm, multi selectable. Yeah, that looks okay. I thought I spelled it incorrectly. Equals to true. And inside here, what we're going to do is have another div. And this div is going to have a class of panel, panel default. And inside this div, we're going to have another div again. This is like a div within div, it's like divception. And we're going to have a class. And this class is going to be panel heading. If you can guess what this is for, this is for the heading of the section. So I'm going to put a row which is going to be tab, its ID is going to be heading 1. And within here we're going to have a H4 tag, it's going to be our title. You can have another, you can have H2 tag if you want. We're going to have a class which is panel title. And now within this what we're going to do is actually have our text. But before we do that, we're going to have a anchor tag. So we're going to have a data toggle equals collapse. Its data parent is going to equal hash accordion, which is basically this right here. Its href is going to be hashtag collapse one it's area expanded I can do on a separate line it's area dash expanded is gonna be equal to true it's area controls is gonna be equal to collapse one and in fact here yeah, we're gonna put a bit of text we're gonna keep it simple all we're going to do is put collapse, oh, not in here, and we'll close off the anchor tag properly. So inside here, what we're going to actually put is collapsible group item number one. So we have our anchor tag, our H4 tag, and our div tag. So outside of the panel heading, we're going to add some more and what we're going to be adding is essentially the body now so if we just do div id is collapse 1a aka this is what this refers to so it's opening the according div so if you want to rename this to something that's proper to your website go ahead but just make sure you update it accordingly that's the same with the id here so make sure you update it accordingly so what we're going to do is have a class of panel collapse we're going to have another class and uh, it's going to have a it's going to be collapse then another class and it's going to be in role equals tab panel it's going to have an area dash labeled by scroll over so you can see it and this is going to have heading one a 
aka this right here again just make sure you update it uh, if you were to put this as home heading or home title to make sure you have the appropriate area labeled by updated as well okay I'm missing something yet yeah, I'm missing the angle bracket and now within this itself we're going to have a another div and it's going to have a class panel body and in here it's going to well, put our body I'm going to keep it simple I'm going to put this would be the body you can put whatever you want in it so you can put an image if you want to put some text use styling you can use p tag it's your choice so it is dependent on your website so we've got our panel body here we got our collapsible div and then we got basically our panel right here so what we're going to be doing if we just scroll down we're going to create a another panel so it's going to copy and paste this to make it simple and let's change what we need to accordingly oops daisy so the panel panel default that's fine panel heading tab we're just going to change this to heading 2 and we'll update it accordingly but we're going to go line by line so we don't miss anything and for this instead of it saying collapse uh, data toggle actually that's fine um, but well, where am I looking I'm looking for actually I need to add a class that's what I'm looking for I need to add a class and this class is going to be collapsed it's all it's going to be by default collapsed it's not going to be visible so with the data toggle collapsed I find data parent is accordion which is this right here which is great so we just have the single data parent aka the group itself and this right here we have to change so it says collapse to need to change this so it says collapse to area expanded that looks a-okay actually we need to change this to false because we don't want it to have expanded by default we want only the first one to have expanded you, you'll see what we mean in a moment when we run it so I'm just going to change this to number two change this to collapse to panel collapse collapse we're going to remove the in because we're not, we're not by default in that particular panel it's not open by default the area labeled by we can change this to heading 2 this will be the body you can put wherever you want oh, I'm just going to leave actually I'm going to change the text why are cookies so nice especially the double chalk or any jock versions so save that and now we're ready to run this in our web browser and I can show you what panels basically are so save that run it so we can show you our collapsible groups so as you can see we got a group that says collapsible group item this will be the body you can put wherever you want in here and if I click here it opens but the other one collapses which is really cool so if I click this one it opens the other one collapses if I click that one it collapses and opens accordingly the other one isn't affected because this is it's already closed you can add as many collapsible groups as you want and a lot of time you would because otherwise the website will just become really big you'd have to keep scrolling keep scrolling and a lot of time you can just have a look at the title think I'm not interested in this section I'm interested in this section I'll click it and when you're done with that if you click on another section it closes so it's just very neat that is it uh, as an extra task figure out how to change which group is open by default and how to prevent any from being open by default at all the next tutorial will cover how to create a carousel within bootstrap if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk all the required source code will be in the description to see over 6,000 completely free videos just like this one visit sonarlearning.co.uk get there today and sign up for free which allows you to take private notes against each video and we've just recently added a new cool feature which allows you to mark a lesson as 
done. Pretty much no education platform has this. You can have a look at it. If you're done with that tutorial, you click tick instead of it just automatically being marked as watched once you're finished with, or once you watch the video, you may not be finished. And then, and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.